yeah, we've we've been building, you know, every day, and as the weeks have progressed, uh, I think we're building good team chemistry, and just really super excited to get on this new uh, turf facility and and have a, a home match and play somebody other than ourselves uh, in training. And so I think it's really critical for us to be able to see our guys now in a match against, you know, an opposition and that way we could really gauge where we're at and where we're going. And so, you know, this weekend's game um, against Humboldt's really, you know, critical for that. And I think, you know, I'm really excited um, of the potential this team has and I'm looking forward to, you know, the, the rest of the preseason after this leading into Pac West play. Yeah, I just I think the focus should be, you know, on us and we should be worrying about, you know, what we need to do in terms of playing possession and keeping the ball and and being a cohesive unit and again having very little exhibition play under our belt. Um, you know, that's that's a challenge, you know, being on an island, we don't get a lot of opportunities to get the exhibition games and matches that some of the mainland schools get, you know, some of them are three, four matches in by the time they get to their first contest and prime example of that is Humboldt will be playing their uh, sixth game, I believe, um, when we play our first real match, and that's between their exhibition and regular season. It could be a blessing for us because we're fresh, and, and it might not be great for them just because, uh, you know, maybe their legs are a little more rubbery, and I, I don't know. I mean, we'll see come Sunday, and hopefully we have the upper hand because our guys are fresh. Nice, Mark. Look at that passion. You know, it was a big period of transition. There's been a lot of ups and downs through that time. Um, you know, obviously with Coach Paul kind of spontaneously stepping down, we had no idea, you know, kind of all just hit us at one moment. We still didn't have the field at the time in the start of the spring semester. And, you know, it's been uh, a lot of adversity we've had to go through, and the boys have stuck well together. Um, we're a solid group. We work hard together. We do what we have to do on the field, off the field. We do well in the classroom. We just do all the right things. And I think that's one of the strong points about our team. We do all the little things right. And you know, now we have this field, we have some new guys coming in, everything's just kind of coming together. And it's, uh, it's beautiful to see, you know, from where we were back then to training on the farm to now we're here on this beautiful field, ready to go get, out, get after it on Sunday. It's been nice to see a lot of the guys from last year step up into more leadership roles, myself included, Chile, Tom, AJ. Everyone just kind of raising the levels and showing guys what it takes to be at this level, what it takes to be successful. And I think we all have that mindset that you need to be a great team. And I think that just comes from the bottom up. All the new guys are coming in, working as hard as they can, and all the returners are showing them how to do it. So I really feel like we have something good here.